Hey everybody and welcome back to Dash Studio. Thank you very much for joining. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to quickly look at how to apply images or textures to our primitives. Before we get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the like button. That always helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description down below. Or you can simply become a member by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So as you can see, I've got a couple of primitives already on the screen. I'm going to put a picture onto the plane simply because it's the one that we can see. And it's just going to show it on this draped over bit of cloth here like so. So all we need to do for this is with our object selected, we need to go into the surfaces tab like this. And we're going to expand the menus here until we get to see these and we're going to go with general now in general you can see there's a material id and there's tags when we come down into base you can see that there are many 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 options the one we're interested in of course is base color now if we just wanted to change the color of our object we could click on the white bar and we could just apply color like that and as you can see that has been applied to our object but we want to put a picture or a texture onto this so what we're going to do is going to click on the downwards arrow and we're going to hit browse now we can choose any image that we have in our uh, drive and i'm going to do that now so i've selected an image and as you can see it's done all kinds of wacky business but the, you get the general gist of it if i were to clear the data on there you can see that it has in fact applied that image to our object and then when we come down into the bottom of our we just select all of these images here we can come down and as you can see we've got horizontal tiles vertical tiles horizontal offset and vertical offset so we can adjust how the image appears on our object so that changes the vertical offset like that and i can do the same with the horizontal offset so if i wanted natasha here to appear correctly on the uh, image i would simply reduce the number of horizontal tiles until she is more or less correct and then we can adjust the horizontal offset to kind of make that look a little bit better and then if we were to run our simulation again you can see that that texture stays on top of our object like so and then it drapes it over just like a blanket as if you would as just as you would expect it to basically so that's all there is to it guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below if you've got any subjects you want me to co to uh, cover just uh, feel free to drop that in the comments as well uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.